Hey guys, today I paint a bullfinch. A couple of days ago I saw at least seven of those. Um, three females and four male ones. And the color of the male bullfinch really strikes out compared to the wintry background. So I decided that it's time to finally paint one of those. I start the painting by wetting the chest of the bullfinch. I don't wet the entire bird yet or the background because um, there's no point of it doing it at the moment. So I focus at first at the small area. I use opera rose and spread it carefully around the chest as well as on the wet part and some of the dry part. My colors are flowing downwards because the painting is a little bit tilted. Uh, then I add a little bit of stronger pigments. Then I add some deep yellow, which is nicely mixing with the opera rose. Although the original colors of the bullfinch just might be a little bit lighter and uh, just reddish rather than uh, mixed with some orange colors, I thought it might look a little bit nicer to have some warm colors. When the colors of the chest have dried, I add some water and I start work on the back of the bullfinch and on its head. So I have already a little bit of colors mixed prepared. I did not want to have the head just with a gray or black color, so I add a light layer of turkish blue as well as on the beak of the bird then i add still of turkish blue around the back of the um, bird oh, my purple is largely mixed out of turkish blue and some opera and i don't overpaint the back as much because it's supposed to be left quite light And adding here a little bit of um, feathers while painting into the red chest. And here and there I add a little bit of a dark colors of the purple. But largely the back of the bird is still quite wet. Then to the purple I add some more of the paints gray. I have just single brush strokes to emphasize the feathers so the bird is gonna be a little bit more abstract largely i don't really use black as in the watercolors but more of a paints gray and here it's still a bit mixed with the purple i haven't wetted the, the lower back feathers so I have rather a mix of wet to wet so really abstract and then continue with the dry spots so it's uh, wet on dry and then emphasizing the other uh, wings of the bird and then adding carefully some more color very strong paints gray and leaving the characteristic white spots I continue a little bit with the eye, just added a little bit of paint grey, but it's not very strong at the moment, so I'm not that much focused yet on the most important parts like the eye. I continue with the branch, which is a little bit of a purple and the same purple I used for the back of the bird and then adding a little bit of burnt sienna. I largely want the branch especially towards the right side be kind of like a blurry. I mix basically a brown out of burnt amber and indigo 
blue. Then I continue with the tail of the bird, which is really strong, paints grey. Then I add some berries from the rowan tree, I believe it is in English, in Finnish it's Pichlaya. I have wetted the paper because um, I wanted that the berries appear to be a little bit in the distance as well as the branch that's holding the berries, so it's a little bit blurred. Um, basically I used the same colors for the berries, so it's a little bit of an opera, opera rose, however it's a little bit mixed with a brownish colors so such as burnt sienna. And then I add some splashes. The paper is basically wet. A little bit of blue splashes and then some red splashes. I continue with the feet of the bullfinch, which are basically a light layer of cadmium red and mixed a little bit with a bluish colors to have a darker shadow. And I continue with the background. So basically I just wet it and then I add some very light ultramarine blue. But the brush strokes basically leading towards the bird. So it's kind of like really directing to the main character of this painting. As well as adding some more splashes at the top. So it's kind of like a little bit like a wintry atmosphere and a snowy atmosphere. Next to the chest I added a little bit of a deep yellow. The background was wetted so it's a little bit mixing with the blue. But the idea is kind of like not to wet the chest because it's supposed to be like really crisp and sharp. Then I continue with the head of the bird. And now I mixed a little bit of a darker color of paints grain at a gray. And some turquoise blue and then working myself carefully around the eye and um, the beak. I have loads of paint because I don't want to let it dry too fast and I don't cover the entire surface of the um, head because I want the turquoise blue a little bit coming through so having those really light bits and then I thought of my I don't want to have those really hard edges at the head so I added water and then stronger colors to emphasize the shape of this bird it's quite important that uh, if you wet around the head or around a shape that um, to remember to keep still the particular shape you want to have. So I was here really careful because I was really worried that it might look a little bit funny. It's taking off a little bit of water, a little bit of paint away and then continue in the direction of the shape or into the form. And then I use a very thin brush to emphasize some feathers, really small feathers. And basically it's kind of like when you're looking at the reference picture, basically to pronounce or emphasize those little shadows or little feathers around. And then I continue with the wink of the bullfinch. So it's uh, so I add really dark colors, really strong pigments. Uh, remember to take much as much paint on the little brush as you can, and then carefully in swing motions, adding those feathers. We had to glue with more of a bigger brush because it was not 
where I can get this with my tiny brush. And then I continue with the beak and adding a little bit of a darker paints grey as well. And the blue comes out really nicely at this point as well. I think bullfinches are really beautiful birds. During the summertime I don't notice them that much because they really blend in into their environment but during the winter time it, they really stick out from the background which is of the snow and uh, bluish colors so it's really easy to notice them and uh, especially around my feed, bird feeding area I have mostly yellow hammers and then some sparrows. The occasional five squirrels come for a visit as well and hooded grouse and magpies but uh, yes it's uh, beautiful to see also bullfinches come around occasionally. This year I was really lucky that, that uh, we have spotted at least seven of them so there were like the three females and four males and uh, I think they were just passing by because I have not seen this group afterwards. Here I add dark pigment of the upper rose and I don't use really wet to wet at this point so it's my basically it's my second layer. I want to emphasize a little bit the shape of the chest so it's really really round and adding here and there a little bit of the single feathers but I don't focus too much to make it very realistically. Underneath the eye, I add as well as some more paint and a single feathers of the um, with the opera rose. But then I add a little bit more of water to spread around the paint because I thought it was a little bit too strong. And it's um, and then adding a little bit of uh, this uh, deep yellow, uh, deep yellow as well. I don't make really a strong layer, so really the. I is the most important part. Now here I add a little bit of a third layer. It, the chest is partly wetted and I try to add a little bit more of an orange to the chest to make it really pop out compared to the black and blue colors. And then having a really deep purple brownish colors underneath and using really, uh, using kind of a dry method, trying to paint some claws for the little bird and adding more details to the feet. But like I said before, I don't focus that much on the claws or on the feet of the bird. I added a little bit of a dark red for the claws. And then continue with, uh, with the purple, a darker purple, as well as spreading it slightly to the chest, but the layer is really light. Only underneath the wings it's a little bit more darker, so the wing itself looks a little bit more three-dimensional. Then I continue with the head of the bullfinch and as well as the beak, a little, adding a little bit of a light reddish color. And then I try to see where I can add more shadows. So having a really light layer of paint is great, but I don't overdo it. And the last bit is basically just a little bit work on the branch, light layer of brown, purple, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe to my channel.
Bye.